Hi everybody, I'm Terry Doherty with the Mom's Choice Awards and I'm here this afternoon with award-winning author Leanne Smith who is the creator of The Magic Christmas Key. Now I have to tell you Leanne, I found out about The Magic Christmas Key at Toy Fair February, so just a few months ago, and your daughter was telling us the story of how it came to be and all of the things that matter and go into this wonderful thing and we thought, you know what, this is just such a wonderful match for the Mom's Choice Awards. What's important to you in celebrating the Magic Christmas Key? Well, I absolutely love Christmas, Easter, Fourth of July, Memorial Day, any holiday I'm just passionate about, but most especially Christmas. I think it's a time that really connects people to their families, it connects generations, and the things that you remember are the traditions. And so in Magic Christmas Key, especially in really everything that Pine Tree is creating, we're looking to create um, great stories and family traditions and keepsakes. And so that that's really what we try to put into this. Um, I mean, who doesn't love a magic key, right? Yes, you know, and that, that is just gorgeous. We had a key not quite this beautiful for my daughter. We had moved into a house that had a glass front fireplace and she was so afraid Santa couldn't get in. So we needed a magic Christmas key and we have used it for years. Speaking of family traditions, you've got the winning garden coming up and the tradition of gardening. The first thing that came to my mind was not actually working with my mom, but working with my grandmother in the garden. I mean, is that something that's crossed your mind or one of the things you want to do? Well, to be perfectly honest, I, I have a history in the giftware industry, product development and um, brand and marketing, and I, I left that industry because I am a grandmother. I've been telling stories forever, I, and my kids said, Mom, it's time to, to write down the stories for the grandkids. That's how Pine Tree Publishing came about. And so everything I do is comes from the perspective of how, how you connect with the, with the uh, child, and particularly as a grandparent, I'm making gifts for grandparents to give to the grandchildren. Gardening something I do with my own grandkids. So yeah, sure, of course, it's got seeds that are friendly and easy to grow. Now tell me about some of your critters. Oh yeah, well I think one of the things that um, that make books special is when it's something that you can hold, you can love, and keep and remember. And in, in this case, the magic key. I, there was a child that I talked with a few days ago that was sobbing because they couldn't find their magic key and you wouldn't go to bed without it. Uh, Rufus is um, a golden doodle. It's actually modeled after my own dog. And Rufus uh, is on every page of the magic Christmas key. Gets into a lot of mischief too. But um, he's something that's uh, very popular with um, young children who own the book, they like to have that to keep as well. And then Lulu is, you gotta feel her, Terry, she's so soft. <gasps> oh my! Yeah, Lulu, I mean, she feels real. Yeah, she really, she really does. Um, Lulu is on every page of the Winning Garden. So I think it's just another way to connect the book with the child and they're, you know, something that they can love and, and particularly if it comes from a grandparent, it's extra special. It's interesting you say that because you talk about Rufus being on each page of the Magic Christmas Key and we were talking earlier about a ladybug being on each key. Right. How, how important is that to the story? You know, having that sort of interactive element while mom and dad or grandma or whoever's reading. I, I think it's essential. And, it, it, it's shown that these kinds of traditions, the tradition of reading to children, uh, reading as grandparents or, or parents or even older siblings with a child, they're special moments. They're, they're absolutely priceless. So the longer you can linger with the book and the more you can interact with the book, I think it has that much more value and creates the special moments and special times. So with my own, my own grandchildren are Tess and I have nieces and nephews that I, that I chest these books with and we do, we linger, find this ladybug, find that one. And, uh, yeah, every page. It's part of the memory. That's wonderful. Well, and it's so great, too, because for the Wiggly kid, yeah. you know, it gives them something to do while mom and dad are reading exactly. and that kind of thing. And they just make beautiful displays in the store. I can't wait to see them this fall. Uh, it's very exciting. Yes. Well, I'm glad you joined us at BEA. Welcome to your first BEA. Yes, and I have to say, Terry, thank you for the mom's choice. I, I am, I'm... Uh, thrilled and humbled, honored to be part of the organization. It means a great deal um, for families and, and for my company, Pine Tree Publishing. It's wonderful. Wonderful. Congratulations. Thanks.